this is Raw After Show. We on the road to money in the bank, baby. And of course, listen to this is WWE Astros. And if you haven't already, go ahead and check out the I follow the sub up there. And of course, check out the latest video right here. And of course, don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below. Or you can hit it over here. And uh, let's get into it, shall we? And uh, I'm really red today because I went to the zoo for a field trip for my son. So it's really warm today. So yeah. All right, let's get into it. This is raw at the show, and hopefully the lighting is decent. It looks pretty good in the preview. So hopefully, all good. So I'm recording this a little bit late in the day. It's literally 109 right now. So let's get this over with. And speaking of gameplays. There is not one this week because I forgot to record one. So hopefully some point I'll get a chance to record. So let's get into it, shall we? Alright, Mr. Man comes out to the open the show before he can speak. Uh, uh, Roman Reigns' music hits and he walks to the ring. Vincent warns Reigns to not to attack him or he will be arrested before asking why he is on Raw. Uh, Reigns tells him to watch his tone. Uh, Roman tells... Uh, Talks about being on Raw for years and how he wants to leave it better than he found it. He talks about uh, when the man said the fans are the authority in December and how nothing has changed. Got a point. Nothing has changed. And it probably never will, honestly. Alright. Rain says he listens to the WWE Universe, not McMahon. Uh, Daniel Bryan's music hits and he heads to the ring, surprising both Vince and Roman. Seriously, I had a blizzard a minute ago. Now my stomach's like, ooh. It's like, ugh. What did you do? Okay. Brian says he was robbed at WrestleMania by Kofi Kingston. He spent the last month meditating in Salute. I hope they were saying that name right. That word, word name right. Really? <laughs> okay. Brian says he and Vince need to have an um, conference before Kofi music hits. And he walks down the ramp. Um, la 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 la. Kobe says Brian had, should have uh, come to him if he had a problem. Brian calls him an underdeserving champion, which I disagree. He's been there for 11 years. He's finally getting his chance to shine. Okay. Leave him alone. Okay. He should never have received a title shot, and Vincent uh, interrupts and says he had it. An epiphany. I think I'm saying it right. And he suggests having a wild card to rule to remember of Raw and SmackDown so they can go to the other show from time to time, which I think is so stupid. What was the point of Superstar Shakeup? They're just trying to do this to get their ratings up because y'all know, y'all seen the probably the news lately that ratings are really bad right now. They're trying to do their best to keep them up. going better, I guess. So, yeah, okay. Brian wants to rematch with the WWE Champion while the two continue to bicker. Drew McIntyre music hits and makes his way to the, um, to the ring and calls Reigns an e eagle mini tack. Okay, we're going to try to do this. Um, a complaint about superstar uh, stu uh, superstars from SmackDown coming on to Raw. He threatens to send Reigns back to Tuesday with a Claymore. Vince promises a WrestleMania rematch between the two. He also suggests a WWE title match between Kofi and Brian before AJ Styles comes out to the stage. <clears throat> okay. After the break, Styles criticizes his bench wildcard rule ideal. Rollin, uh, Rollins comes out and yells at AJ for being a sucking sucker punching him last week after some arguing. Vince suggests AJ and Seth team up to take on a mystery tag team partner, and Seth Rollins and AJ Styles. Um, I like there was something on me. I'm like, what is that? Okay, anyways, Seth Rollins um, and AJ Styles versus Bobby Lashley and Baron Corbin. I hate those people. Anyways, AJ goes for the Pomano form and Corbin moves so he can end up hitting Rollins. AJ Styles sees what um, he did and just rolls out of the ring to walk away. Rollins gets uh, up so Corbin can hit and ends of days for the pin and win. <clears throat> Seriously, this is a long raw. Uh, raw. Like, that's what I'm saying, like, adding more people is just, like, feels like it's just so packed and jammed together. That's what I feel like anyways. So, I'm trying to hurry up because I know my camera is, like, slowly dying. So, alright. Sam and is asking the to talk about what was wrong with WWE Universe this week. Blah, blah, blah. Um, he just complains about Raw. 
um, says that fixing yourself takes time and the announcer says someone needs to shut him up. As Sammy continues to trash WWE Universe, drop Braun Strowman comes out. Um, he eventually chases after Zane, attacks Zane, throws him into a garbage truck, and yeah, that pretty much sums up that segment. Pretty much, okay. Lucha House Party versus three jobbers, Lucha House Party won. Ricochet versus Robert Roode. Ricochet won and remains in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Lacey Evans versus some jobber. Okay, let's see. Naomi and Dana Brooke and Atai come out at a request of Evans. Apparently, Alexa Bliss was invited too. Evans puts the enhancement talent in the corner and kicks her in the ribs. She hits the woman's right for the pin in the win. The four women at ringside did not look impressed. As Evans delivers a post-match promo, Becky Lynch makes her way to the ring. She goes right after Evans and beats her down. Lacey rarely escapes the disarmor. Again, why is Lacey Evans in the title picture? I don't know. The Bacon Riders versus um, Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder. The Bacon Riders won. Oh, so sorry. She's... Mm. Alright, Roman Reigns versus Drew McIntyre. Um... Roman jumps off the top rope right into, no, no. McIntyre jumps off the top rope into a Superman punch to give Reigns another two count. The big dog and Ellis a spear, but McMahon and Elias attack him before he can make it to cover to cause a disqualification. I'll have to fix that. I probably didn't even realize. The Miz runs down to the ring with a chair and sends Shane running with to the heels. Elias and McIntyre continue attacking Reigns in the ring. Whew. We see him uh, backstage, Shane trying to hide from the Miz as he runs by with his chair. Charlie Caruso tries to interview Shane, but he just walks away into his limo. The Miz comes out from behind a wall and hits him with a chair. The A-lister beats on him until Shane um, kicks him below the belt and escapes him in his limo. The Usos come out to taunt their rival before the ma um, match. They claim to have put some icy hot in their trunks and the rivals certainly start to feel uncomfortable. The Usos give them some water and pour it down their, they pour it down their trunks. Which just makes the burn um, worse. And I feel like that segment was so ridiculous and so stupid and just, Why creative? Why did you create that? Okay, anyways, let's continue on. Kofi Kingston vs. Daniel Bryan for the WWE Championship. Kofi Kingston retains the WWE Championship. The show ends with Kofi Kingston. Celebrating his win, the rating 50 out of 50. It could have been better as there were some decent matches and segment as we get closer to Money in the Bank. And that's all I have yesterday for Raw at the show. And I'll see you guys soon for SmackDown Live. So don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below or hit it over here. Check out the latest video right over here. Check out the eye for all the stuff up there. And of course, check out all the stuff down below in the below as always. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Until then, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye!